Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here and today I'm going to be talking about the possibility of the AC-130 from the Modern Warfare series returning in the next Call of Duty. Now I know that I said in my last video I was going to tone it down on some of the speculation videos for the next Call of Duty, but this info does actually seem to be credible and could very well pertain to the next Call of Duty. On Treyarch's official Facebook page, they linked a news article that talks about a new laser turret attachment that will change air combat forever. You can go check out the article yourself that will be a link down below in the description but yeah basically it talks about how adding this laser will make air combat a lot safer for the pilots and a whole bunch of other stuff and it also says in a quote at first operational versions of this turret will most likely be installed on bombers very large drones and converted cargo airships like the AC-130 gunship yes guys the AC-130 one of the best killstreaks in Call of Duty history and you're probably wondering what does this have to do with the next Call of Duty. Well, a guy replied by saying, I smell a new score streak for the upcoming COD. And Treyarch's Facebook page actually thumbs up this guy's reply. Now, could this possibly mean the AC-130 is confirmed for the next Call of Duty? Or could Treyarch be teasing us with some kind of new laser fighter jet score streak thing? Probably like something from Star Wars almost. But um, I just find it really odd of Treyarch to thumbs up a post that talks about a score streak in the next Call of Duty. But um, as we all know, Treyarch is really well known to tease us with new information about the next Call of Duties and stuff like that. They're very good at it and just getting us really hyped for that uh, next Call of Duty. And in my opinion, I honestly don't want this game to go in the future though, but uh, it does seem like that's where the setting is going to take place for the next Call of Duty. And as you guys already know, I'm not a huge fan of futuristic Call of Duties, especially the Axel suits. But, um, I mean, if, uh, the, if I don't really care. Actually, I really don't care if the Call of Duty is based in the future. I just really don't want Axel suits or new movements system because I feel that it just kind of takes away the feeling of Call of Duty. I feel that Call of Duty should be boots on the ground, just combat, uh, gun to gun, not all this jumping around, wall running, uh, etc. That's just that's just my personal opinion. I, I do think it takes away from the Call of Duty feeling that uh, players should have. It honestly, Advanced Warfare doesn't even feel like Call of Duty to me. It feels like a totally new game. It shouldn't even have the Call of Duty title in uh, my opinion because that's how different it feels from all the other Call of Duties. But yeah guys, I do do think the next Call of Duty is headed into the future, but I do hope that I'm wrong. But I'm um, still, this is track, and I'm gonna give them a chance because they've made two of the best Call of Duties in Call of Duty history. But uh, hopefully, whatever they make is gonna be fun to play and very community friendly. Let me know your thoughts about this Facebook post in the comment section down below. Do you guys think the next Call of Duty is going to have the AC 130, or could there possibly be more to this news article, or are we over speculating a little too much? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And please subscribe to update the latest Call of Duty 2015 news, rumors, and information. Thank you for watching. This has been Reverts. Hope you guys will have a happy Easter and a good rest of the break. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later. Ideas don't determine who's right. Power determines who's right. And I have the power. So I'm right.